Hello everybody, Ninja Gamer here. Welcome to another Minecraft video on the server Snapcraft. And in this video, I'm going to be doing another round of zombie survival. I want to show you something real quick. If you notice, this sword is enchanted. Yeah, but something even better than this sword. This sword. I got it from a vote key, actually. And... Like, I just did a little bit of voting to get some stuff, and I just happened to get this diamond sword here. And I had two other non-enchanted diamond swords. I got rid of those. I have sharpness four, or five. Knockback one. Wait, no. Sharpness six, actually. Knockback one, and fire aspect one. It says it's rare, but I ended up getting it. And another rare item. An iron sword with sharpness 2 and knockback 3. I'll keep both just because this one has more knockback on it. And now I'm actually doing better. Now all I need to do is get better armor. And I actually am recording this video like a few minutes after the previous one. You'll notice like the difference between my mob kills. It's not very big difference. Watch this. One shot. One hit killing zombie. Got ya. Waiting for the. Okay, that one did well, die in one hit, but still. Yeah, these guys have like powerful swords. There was one zombie that I one shot. Like the first time I used it, I one shot three zombies. This is an awesome sword. Oh right, I forgot I the shield toggles, and they got rid of the. Zombie. I'm like two shotting him now. Earlier I was struggling, now suddenly just from one vote I am now having an easy time. Let's help this guy out. There you go. What is that going around him? Is that like him regenerating or something? I notice I don't really have good armor. I just happened to get a good sword from the vote crate. As well as a bunch of leggings and some chainmail boots. I got those from the boat crate, actually. I didn't realize you could get such good stuff from that. I had this diamond sword plus two others, and then an iron sword, and this iron sword as well. And I realized that I can actually sell my swords and weapons and stuff to get more money from the trash compactor thing. So I did that, and got rid of the other two. I found out there's no way to really give away any items. I wanted to like, let someone else have the others, but there wasn't. I thought the trash thing wasted them. I found out that you actually just get money from it. So it's not a waste. I might actually avoid doing money and see if I spending money and see what I can get from the vote thing. And then I'll probably have a lot of money left over for doing things. Now I noticed you can get pets, but they're very expensive. Probably because they help you with fighting mobs and stuff. They're pretty much overpowered just to have a pet. Their attack's very high. You can just have the fact that you have a pet would be overpowered. I don't yet because they cost way lots of money. And I don't think they're really able to be easily caught from I noticed one thing, something good about both these swords. This one is better for fire. This one's better for knocking back the enemy. Also, it's iron. It looks kind of nice. Like, it looks more natural than diamond. See, that one not shoots them back. This one burns them with fire. And this one shoots them back. So, like, if I'm crowded, I can use this for crowd control. And then this for actually just a standard attack. Like I'm getting a little crowded here. Okay, got him. He seemed- that zombie was actually running away from me. I'm so powerful that zombies ran away from me. That's awesome. They realize that they can't take me out. Okay. The zombie. This one has sharpness too. This one has more sharpness. So this one's better for attack. This one's better for its knockback. 
This one has better knockback abilities, and this one has good attack abilities. So I can kind of attack with this and then knock him back with this. Here's another thing that's cool. So if I go to third person, you can see the. If I go to F1 mode, you just see it blinking. <laughs> Looks like my sword is blinking. Okay. So. Any other zombies? And yeah, I took a screenshot. I kind of like taking screenshots every once in a while to like, get a good idea for the front of the video. Every once in a while I will take a screenshot. I need to regenerate actually. should probably take one with the zombies inside of the shot. I'll probably have to find like an empty game to do it in would be a good idea. Back zombie. Fire. Whoop. I'm pretty much almost dead now. Um, I better run a little. Maybe third person would be good for fighting, actually, just because I can see behind me as well. I know in Pocket Edition, before a bunch of updates, they used to let you actually attack behind you while sprinting, you could do in third person. I actually used that once when a friend was chasing me on Pocket Edition. I basically attacked them with. By, by from behind while running. Like the thing is that it's hard to you have to still aim the same. They like, just allow the aiming to be a slightly different. Of course, then I guess you can't really tell if they're actually attacking you or not. If you can kind of, if they could give you like an overhead view that doesn't change your angle of aiming, that would actually be kind of good. They should really have like an overhead view where you can, don't change your aiming. You can just keep sh standing straight. And, like this would be straight and then you can go a little f and also up higher. Giving you a good view of everything. And you can still attack straight. That would be a good idea. Oh, I should actually stand still. That's how you gain health for your hunger. And third person, because if the zombie sneaks up on me, I'll notice. Oh, and I died. Oh, now I'm a zombie. That's a little fun. I'm, I'm no longer a zombie. There was a guy behind me? Oh, wait, no, that was the next uh, third person. Now in front of me. Oh, there we go. Let's save this guy. Zombie. Oh. Okay. Crowd control time. Like, this one's good for crowd control. Like, if I have a bunch of crowds of zombies, then I can use this sword to knock them away from me. And this one, if I'm actually just trying to attack them. And I don't really have good armor yet, so I lose a lot of health quickly. Here's one. I'm getting a lot more kills ever since I got this diamond sword. Let's see if I can find more. Um, any other zombies? I notice you do take fall damage. Okay. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a golden sword. Golden swords look kind of fancy swords. They're not as powerful, but they're usually more fancy with looking. I don't see any other zombies. I might, like, skip ahead of the video a little bit. 
if I don't see any soon. Let's try to find out where the zombie is. Okay, still don't see any zombie. Stop for a second, let me health regenerate a little. Okay, it's the next wave. Uh, oh, baby zombies! Okay, I don't know if I need crowd control. Crowd, get away! No, I've been really struggling with baby zombies. You no, know, so if I hit a number key, this happens. Teleport to team member, teleport to player. What's the difference between the two? I'm um, closing the knees, not working. I can't really move while in there sometimes. Lots of zombies. Time for crowd control sword. Crowd control sword. Okay. Someone else already took out most of them. I guess it's good to kind of have it all in one would be better. But right now I just have these two. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. I got the last hit. 4,948 money right now. I really want to save it for a bow. Or I might get one of those in the kits and just save it for a pet. There's a zombie in here. Wow. Okay, I didn't get that money. Okay, I don't see any zombies. Whoa, what's this? What is that thing? Oh, hey, clone trooper. Hey, there's a clone trooper. Medjamich. Sorry if I can't pronounce your name correctly. Oh, baby zombies attacking and game's lagging. Oh no, oh no. That's the problem with the baby zombies. It keeps freezing up the game whenever they come after me for some reason. Why is there a trail behind this guy? What is that about? Do those damage zombies? And then it shows like when he jumps. That's kind of cool. How do you get that trail behind you? Is it like some sort of defensive attacking trail or something? Does it attack damage zombies? I don't know. Okay, it seems to have also surrounded the zombie. Um, okay. Oh, there's someone. Why is he hiding? I guess he's low in health. Alright, they don't show your health anymore. It would be kind of nice if they showed like, how much health you have, and then uh, your teammates would know if you're low on health or have a lot of health. And they would know to defend you. Yeah, they do hide in here, I notice. Sometimes zombies can get in this. Nope. And. Nope. Oh. And. Kind of stuck in the door. Let's just open it to make sure. I what are those things that keep forming? Something around this guy. Like, give him extra regeneration. And just swirls around. Okay, next one's starting in. Oh, wait, it's already started. 13 enemies. 14. 17. Here's some zombies. Ah, game's going weird again. 
Oh, these ones give you hunger. That's what the yellow armor ones do. Okay, I did not get that one because it didn't burn on fire. Now, the only bad thing about using fire aspect is that if the zombie then attacks you, you burn on fire. So that's the only downside of fire aspect sword. Is then you burn on fire when attacked by the same zombie. Sometimes. Maybe it doesn't count if it's your own fire. Yeah, I don't know what that trail is around that guy. Okay, I noticed they're not like slowly coming up anymore. Maybe either Snapcraft got rid of it or the, the actual update got rid of that. I'm not sure. I'll have to check it out. Baby zombies usually get me a lot. Oh, get them. Here's one. Okay, everyone keeps teleporting in front of them once I try to take them. Like, instantly. Didn't take two. Whoa, zombie spawned right in front of me. Let's actually stop and regenerate if I can. Oh, oh no, oh no. Let's actually go for third person so that way I can see behind me. Third person kind of helps sometimes. That way you know if you're being approached by a zombie. Let's use my knockback. Well, or the, that zombie kind of teleported in front of me. Game had a bit of a glitch. Okay, so. We're back. Let's go in third person. I can use the knockback one when I'm low in health, and then fire aspect one when I'm actually attacking. And then it's kind of nice how like the shield goes away from your screen. They should actually do that in regular, where it, you still see this, but the shield itself kind of the item in your other hand kind of disappears, or at least have it like an option in controls to auto like the auto jump thing. Well, blazes are now in here. What wave is this? 20. Okay, blazes show up in wave 20. I don't know why I'm using the fire aspect on a blaze. Actually, it does have sharpness. Oh wait, oh I died. Why am I still attacking the blaze? Oh wait, I'm inside a blaze. That explains why I'm moving. I died, I don't know if it happened. Yes, wait, what? I just got spawn killed. Um, I just got spawn killed. That's not fair at all. Don't put TNT in the spawn point. That I just got spawn killed. That's not fair. So I actually had stayed dead for 40 seconds. Because of that one spawn kill. Oh! Boat key! How'd I get that? That's weird. Usually I thought it would be a zombie key, but for some reason I just keep getting vote keys every once in a while. I don't know what's going on with that. But oh well. It's still good to have. At least I can get vote keys more than just voting, I guess. Um, okay. Zombies. Fire us back to that. Big crowd. Oh, more zombies. Um, any more around? Four enemies still. Oh, I just teleported. Okay. There's a bit of lag. Let's go up there. And see if it's gonna be... There's a zombie. 
Okay, he got that one, I guess. Yep. Good job. Okay, let's just sit here and regenerate a little. There's only one enemy left. Okay, my health is now filled, and I don't want to jump down because otherwise I'll lose it all. Because you do still take fall damage, so. Let's see, are there any others? Not that I see any. I don't really see any others. I don't see another zombie. Uh, is he in here? No. Okay. I might have skipped the video ahead a little bit. Until we find that zombie. Okay, next wave's about to start. This might actually be a good spot because there's not other mobs to worry about. Okay guys, so the next wave has started, and let's get this zombie. Oh, got me behind you. Should I use the crowd control one? There's a lot of zombies here. Let's use crowd control sword. Whoa, whoa, oh. He, oh, um, oh hey, you can still see my head. Huh. I notice if I press a button here. I can actually see this menu. Oh, what the close menu does. Teleport to player. Oh. Oh, is that the spectators doing that? I wonder if that's the spectator. Twelve enemies. Probably in this direction. Oh, here's baby zombies. Let's go after the bigger one. I can actually take them more. Oh no, baby zombie, baby zombie, baby zombie. Got him. Let's go third person because I don't want any zombies sneaking up on me. I can't see what I'm hitting is the downside. Like, as I'm hitting it, I can't really see it. Okay, I think I can go in first. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get hit from behind. Okay, I think I can go out. Oh, there's some in there, okay. Should we generate? Here we go. Um, oh, it's starting. There we go. Next wave. Oh, zombie right there. Poison one, too. Careful he doesn't hit you. Knock back me. Oh, this guy took it. I did most of the damage to the- Whoa! Whoa! Baby zombies! Baby zombies! Aw. Oh. Baby zombies always get me. If I had better armor, then I would probably survive a baby zombie attack. I might be able to survive a baby zombie attack if I just had better armor. But all I have right now is swords, so I can't really handle the baby zombies too well. Whoa! This guy's in the spawn. Whoa, I'm already almost dead. Crowd control sword. Wait, baby zombie got me. Let's see, is this me doing it? Am I doing this by... Okay, well... Um, there's only one guy alive. I don't know if uh, anything happens when everyone dies. Okay, I'm... Yeah, I'm instantly dying in the spawn point. That's a problem. I 
I notice this doesn't really work. Safe now. Okay. Here's. His... Oh, hey, he was low in health. Okay, I might need a crowd control sword. Because there's a lot of crowd of zombies. Oh no. Why does the baby zombie always get me? I keep getting killed by baby zombies. I always seem to be my weakness. My weakness is the baby zombie. Oh yeah, I have 88 mob kills. Close to 100. Okay, that's gonna be my goal for this video. 100 mob kills. 5,523 money. Quite a lot. Seven enemies left. Oh. Okay. I still have my little vote key. I'll probably do that at the end of the video. 88 mob kills. Okay. I don't see any other zombies. Are there any up here? I can regenerate my hunger just so that my health regenerates. Oh, it's loading. Okay. Uh, let's go out and get some zombies. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I just died. Whoa, what happened? Okay, for some reason I got kicked out of the game. Okay, that was a little weird. I just got kicked out. Let's enter back in. Okay, guys, so I seem to have gotten kicked out. I might be in a different server, but that's fine. So let's just go after some more zombies. There are 13 left. Oh, that one just got... Okay, I still have 88, so I didn't make any progress since then. Um, where's the zombie at? Um, let's see. I don't see any zombies. There's a person sitting here. One enemy left. There he is. This guy's already got him. Let's just regenerate my hunger a little. And wait for the next one. There's... here we are. Here's one that's not being messed with. And some other guy took him out. Problem is everyone else keeps stealing my kills. Okay. 89. Whoa! Crowd control time! Oh, I died. Huge crowd of zombies in this book area. The bookstore, it looks close to the spawn point, actually. Okay, so I know which way to go. Out and around to the left. In a second. There. I'm going to try to avoid sprint jumping too much because I don't want to like, lose a lot of hunger. Okay, here's a zombie here. I'm gonna get this guy. Ah, oh, someone else just jumped in front of me. Ah. Oh, game's lagging like bad. Okay, 90. I've reached 90. 91. There we go. It just took a minute to update. There doesn't seem to be a door I can actually exit through. I guess I'll just have to... I notice in here some... Oh, uh, come on. Oh, this guy took it. Yeah, let's just stand and regenerate a little. Okay. There's three left. Let's see if we can find them. 
Might have to fast forward the video a little bit. Just get bad in the video. Oh wait, never mind. Next wave starting. Okay, let's find out where they are. It's gotta be some some. Okay, here we are. Ninety-two. 93, 94 actually. Okay, that's 96. Oh, I just died. I'm inside of a zombie still. I wonder if the computer's controlling the zombies or if they're automatically doing it. This doesn't seem to work. Okay. So. At 96 mob kills. 97. Oop. I need three more. Three more mob kills and then I reached my goal. That one's already been taken care of. There's three more actually in the game. Probably not going to get those three. There doesn't seem to be an entrance in this thing. All of them say ambulance one. It's kind of strange because like, there's no ambulance two. So I don't know why there's an ambulance one. Okay, where are the zombies coming from? Let's just find any. Here's one. Two. Okay, I still have 97. I guess someone else stole my kills. Oh, there we go. 98. 99. Is out. 99. Oh. I need one more. In 14 seconds. 12, 11. They could get rid of the milliseconds and then it might not lag so much when you die. Would be an idea. And. Done. There's all three guys in a line. He five. And. There's a zombie. My 100th zombie kill! 100th mob kill. Yeah, we reached the goal. Okay, so anyways, guys, I have just reached the 100 mob kills, and now let's open up a crate vote key. And let's wait till this guy's done. Okay, let's open up a vote key. Okay, what did I get? Let's see. Oh, I got another vote key. And fireman helmet. And I got money, I'm guessing. Okay. So I got another vote key. Let's use that. First, let's see what these guys are doing. We got money, money. Ooh, diamond boots. Nice one. Okay, I think at the end of every video, I'm going to try and do use a vote key. I might not have one at the end of every video, but I'll try to do one every ending. Right now I'm fighting to see what these guys have. It's just kind of fun to know what they get. Oh, diamond sword. That's a nice one. This guy's doing it now. Okay. Let's see. Money, money, and money. It's weird that sometimes they go this way and sometimes they go this way. It kind of confuses me a little. Make the order. Money, money, and leather tunic. Uh. Okay. Ooh, enchanted stone sword. Okay. Now this guy's doing it. I guess I have to beat other people to get here. Okay. 
Okay, I got my vote key in. Now let's see what I get. I got money, money, and more money. Huh. I also got a fireman helmet. Protection four and fire protection. Two armor, two armor. These are pretty much the same armor except fire protection. That's actually pretty good. That's actually better than the iron helmet. Okay. So, my first ever helmet. And I already traded my first ever sword. Oh. So let's put this helmet in the smasher and get my money out of it. And I got 75 money. More than I got from the vote key. Okay, so anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. Bye!